guys welcome or welcome back to another video how are we doing today how are we doing guys like i'm hot <laughs> let's just get that out there summer clearly has started early this year because my heart's like i'm very very hot like i just wanted to say that in case y'all see me sweating in the middle of this video because I totally forgot to bring my fan up here and I don't feel like going back down for it but anyways on today's video I wanted to talk about something that for me has been very fascinating lately and if you're really into you know the world of tech or even just keeping up to date with what is happening um, you know in our society today then you will know that AI is slowly taking over okay it's taking over guys like you you just gotta get with it okay <laughs> at this point we just pretty much have to learn how to use AI to our benefit and not let it you know completely ruin us because if we are not careful these things will yeah they, they'll, they'll go crazy um, but today I had a very random thought and I was like I wonder if the beauties have thought about this have you guys thought about how we can use AI and for the purpose of this video specifically chat GPT yes chat GPT how we can use chat GPT to enhance our spiritual journey you know help us to grow in our faith in our beliefs all of that have you thought about it like I don't know where it just randomly popped up in my head and I was like I wonder if anybody else has thought about this and of course you know I took to YouTube University and I realized other people are actually talking about it but not necessarily you know from our community of people <laughs> and um, some of the videos that I saw also did not necessarily speak about it in a very positive light so I thought you know why not bring it to you guys and hear what you have to say you know i can share my opinion and then as we always do we can discuss it in the chat because i'm intrigued and i feel like i might start doing this okay <laughs> so let's get into this and see how chat gpt can help us grow our spiritual life okay class okay, all right so first of all I have to be considerate of those who have no idea what ChatGPT is, okay? So let me break it down. <laughs> so ChatGPT, like I said, it is AI. It's a software that was created by OpenAI, I believe the name of the company is. And it's pretty much Google on crack. I don't know how else to put it. It's literally Google on steroids, right? Like you can type anything into ChatGPT and it will give you an answer like it's it's crazy like a little secret chat gpt helps me with my work every day just saying okay it's 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 a really good tool and like i said if you're not careful you know you could use it for the wrong reasons so um chat gpt you just open the open ai website i believe you have to create an account but you know, you can always just choose to log in with Google, which is what I did. I used my Gmail account to just log in and you get access to this website. It's free. You literally just type any question into it and it will formulate a response. If it is that you don't like the first response, you can always regenerate another response as many times as you need. Now, like I said, because ChatGPT is now pretty much taking over the world and it can be used for bad when you use chat GPT you want to be very careful of what you take from it and also if you are using it for professional or academic purposes please 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 do not plagiarize <laughs> like especially my students do not plagiarize if you use chat GPT to help you because what I do when I use it for work I will literally ask it whatever question or you know sometimes I use it to formulate emails but I just use it as a foundation so you go in you type in what you need and then you pull that 
and you fix it make it sound like you don't just use it word for word people please okay let's let's be good stewards let's be honest in what we're doing especially my students plagiarism is real you will fail okay you will fail anyways so I'm not here to, to tell you about chat GPT in its general sense we're here to talk about how it can help you in your spiritual journey and right off the bat clearly the first thing I found that chat GPT can help you to do and yes I actually tried this is to help you with a Bible study so you can go into chat GPT type in whether you know a topic for example that you want to study you know maybe you're looking at forgiveness or you're studying faith you can literally type into chat GPT and say give me a Bible passage about faith and chat GPT will list for you all the Bible passages that talk about faith or you could say what does the Bible have to say about forgiveness what does the Bible have to say about lying? You know, things like that. And Chat GPT will literally give you the response that, you know, is biblical. I was going to say the response that you're looking for. Technically, I mean, you ask the question, you're looking for it. But it does actually give you responses based on what is in the Bible. However, I'm going to say this, and this is going to apply across the board for all the tips that I'm giving you. Whatever Chat GPT gives you, I 110% recommend that you do your own study because we do not know where ChatGPT is pulling its information from, right? Um, we're gonna hope it's 100% Bible, but the world that we live in now, there is just, there's just too much things out there that can just thwart, you know, what the Bible actually says. So I definitely recommend that whatever it is that you find on ChatGPT, that you cross-reference with the bible with commentaries with the spirit of prophecy whatever the case may be right um if you have a spiritual circle you know you guys can have discussions it can be very good conversation starters you know um if you guys want to have a biblical discussion ask chat gbt you know what's the significance of the story of the prodigal son <laughs> literally like like i said you can literally ask chat gpt anything and it will be able it, be, it will be able to give you an answer so that is one way that you could use it to you know help you with your bible study the next thing the next way you could use chat gpt is to help you enhance your prayer life like i know for me prayer has been one of those things that I struggle with in the sense where my days are usually so busy that I will forget to pray throughout my day like I wake in the morning I have my devotion I pray I'm getting ready for bed in the night I'm having my worship I pray right but throughout the day I tend to get so busy that I sometimes forget to pray and honestly I feel really bad about it so what I have started doing is writing my prayers I have a prayer jar i have a prayer journal as you guys know so and i have an app on my phone that reminds me to pray at different times throughout the day so what you can do with chat gpt is if you are having challenges with you know figuring out what to pray for or just figuring out maybe the times to pray you could literally ask chat gpt what are you know the best times throughout the day to have prayer and then you know you have those different religions that have like standard prayer times chat gpt could actually tell you what those are and then you could see if those could work with your schedule another thing that you could do is use chat gpt to come up with prayer prompts um, especially for me because like i said i tend to write my prayers a lot this is something that is very beneficial for me because when it comes to journaling sometimes i literally sit and i'll be looking at my computer screen and i'm just like I don't know what to write I don't know what to say or I'll pull out my prayer journal and I'm just like what I don't know I don't know but chat GPT would be able to give you prayer prompts or you could probably ask chat GPT for a, a verse that speaks to 
an issue that you are having so say for example you are struggling with anxiety um, chat GPT would be able to give you Bible verses that speak to anxiety that would be able to help to comfort you so this is perfect for people who are at work you're probably not able to like step aside and pray but right around your work desk you could just you know plug into chat GPT what are some Bible verses that help you with anxiety chat GPT could give you those Bible verses you could read them right there at your desk you could get the reassurance that you need because prayer is talking to God what's the Bible God's words so if you're getting Bible verses that are speaking to a particular issue that's literally you asking God you know comfort me right now I'm struggling with anxiety and you finding that Bible verse could actually also prompt you to pray because you're gonna see that Bible verse is gonna speak to you you're gonna sit and reflect on it two minutes tops guys God isn't necessarily asking us to have five minute prayers all the time okay so yeah that is another way that you could use chat GPT so another thing that I found was that we could use chat GPT to help us with developing or or personal growth now when it comes to our spiritual life and I believe I said this on my channel sometime before that when it comes to the Christian lifestyle it's a very holistic approach right so if it is that we are wanting to live the Christian lifestyle then it means that we have to work on ourselves as individuals I have actually used ChatGPT to help me find podcasts or book recommendations or articles or anything of that nature that speaks to different areas of personal growth that would be able to, you know, help me on a daily basis to learn different characteristics according to whether it's the, the fruits of the spirit or, you know, things like that that can help me on a personal level to improve as a Christian because we want to make sure that we're not just reading the word <laughs> and not living the word i'm currently studying james guys so that is like on the forefront of my mind right so yeah chat gpt could help you to just find different self-help things that are going to help you to develop as an individual on a very holistic basis and like i said you want to make sure that whatever it is that you are pulling from chat gpt you are cross-referencing with biblical sources or biblical persons that can help you to really decipher whether or not this is really good for you because guys this is a computer okay like we can't a hundred percent trust technology as as good as they are we can't a hundred percent trust technology okay okay <laughs> Alright, so another thing that I found that we could possibly use chat GPT for and this is a big one I actually Didn't think about this until I was doing my research and this is for apologetics So apologetics is actually the defense of the Christian faith against objections and criticisms so we can use chat GPT to provide um, answers to what are some of the, the common questions that people have about Christianity about God on a whole and just you know the, the whole Christian lifestyle people are often asking if God is so good why does he make bad things happen you know like you know questions like those you could literally type that into chat GPT and it could help to generate responses that would put you in a position to better respond to these types of questions especially for those persons who are going out on a daily basis you are living a life that is gonna exemplify Jesus so people are gonna be curious you know people are gonna want to know what makes you so different you know so if it is that they come to you with a certain question then you want to be able to give them a response that is pleasing to God or you know would, would make God proud pretty much and again if it is that you know you're not able to necessarily do these types of research beforehand you know you could always use chat gpt right then and there when they ask you guys this is literally accessible on all your devices okay you just have to be very mindful of the fact that if it is that chat gpt are giving you these answers it also means that you need to know what's in your word let me pull this glasses down and lift this hat up a little bit so you can see me. 
you have to make sure that you actually know what is in the Bible so that if it is that chat GPT is telling you nonsense, you know and you can defend it, okay? And I mean, if it is that you're studying the Bible, then technically you wouldn't necessarily need chat GPT to give you the answer to these questions. But I'm just saying, it's a good foundation, okay? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so that is another thing that you could use chat GPT for. Those are actually the four main points because I believe that these are very broad umbrellas um, of areas that we could use chat GPT for. Guys, I've literally heard of people using chat GPT to write sermons like it's that deep okay so you just gotta know that the questions are out there you just have to make sure that you and guys you see how much time I said is like I feel like a scratch record at this point I feel like I've spent the past 20 minutes of this video telling you the importance of knowing the Bible for yourself so that if this computer is telling you nonsense, you can pick it up, okay? Okay, so those are the four main areas that I think, you know, you could use ChatGPT to help you with in terms of growing your faith, deepening your relationship with God, developing your life on a whole as a Christian and making sure that your life is one that is exemplifying Christ in every aspect of of your life okay um so for those of you who are more on the practical visual side i figured let me probably just pull up chat gpt for you and show you exactly how it works so i'm gonna go ahead and use my tablet let me hit screen record all right and so we're gonna I actually already open chat gpt for you guys so as you see here, this is what the dashboard looks like when you log in. I already logged in. Um, like I said, you can use your email or you can set up an account however way you choose. Um, so let me see, what is something we could ask ChatGPT? Let's see, um, what is a good way to... to Bible study for beginners okay let's see what it says and see if it aligns with anything I've been telling you guys so far okay all right so it gave us five points so it says Bible study is a great way for beginners to learn about the teachings and messages of the Bible here are some tips to help you get started First, choose a Bible translation. There are many different translations of the Bible available, each with its own unique style and language. Um, so it did give two recommendations. It recommended the NIV and the NLT. Personally, I do not recommend the NIV because I have seen a few inconsistencies where that is concerned and I've heard other people say the same. Sorry. Um, my personal favorite version of the Bible is the easy to read version anybody who knows me knows I usually say that's my go-to version of the Bible because it is so simple to read however the the, the, the simplific the, the, how do I put it because of how simple the language is sometimes I feel like it doesn't relate the message properly right so I don't necessarily recommend that either for Bible study um, what I would recommend for Bible study for beginners is the New King James Version because I have found that the New King James Version is kind of like the middle ground between the easy to read version and the King James Version because y'all know the King James Version got the he, thou, they, thine, you know, pff, listen, it stresses me out. <laughs> but yeah, y'all know how the King James Version be, right? Um... But the, the new King James Version, it's pretty much the King James Version, but in without the thine and the old, the old English language. But it literally says the exact same thing. So that is currently what I use for Bible study. If you know my, my current Bible, it is a new King James Version Bible, right? 
so that is what I personally would recommend as the version for Bible study for beginners of course you know some people are gonna recommend the King James version because it is the OG Bible and I'm not knocking it to be honest it is a very good version it's probably it's the best version of the Bible but um, for beginners uh, you want something with a little simpler language and so that's why I recommend the New King James all right so next it says start with a plan there are many Bible study plans available online or in study Bibles that can help guide your reading and study. You can also start by reading a chapter a day or focusing on a particular book of the Bible. So I love this. Um, if you watched my What's on My Tablet or any of those uh, videos, you would see where I mentioned that I use Version Bible app. That is what I was using before in terms of like my bible study or my bible study plans um i would pick a plan that was based on a particular theme and i would just use that as the guide for reading bible passages and doing in-depth study on what the verses had to say so definitely i would recommend going that route for beginners because the plans are so simple they're down to earth you can find a plan on literally any topic that you can think of um, but you can also just pick a theme as well and then ask ChatGPT to, uh, to give you the books of the Bible or the Bible verses that speak on this particular theme and then you could do your study that way. Or like it recommended, start with a book of the Bible. I'm currently studying James. I've, been, I've pretty much restarted my Bible reading journey because I was doing the Bible year. I did start the Bible year earlier this year and then I fell off and I was like, okay, let me revamp so i started over with james um so you could pick a book of the bible that you want to read and then go about it that way all right use bible study tools such as concordances bible dictionaries commentaries to help you get a better understanding of the, the meaning of the text and provide historical and cultural context guys this is something i actually saw somebody do where they typed into chat gpt and they they asked them for the basically the context of when like for example paul wrote the book of corinthians you know so it would have given you like what the culture was like but then what the the, the, the wars anything that was happening during that time of earth's history chat gpt would be able to give you that and that would actually help you to understand a little bit more where paul was coming from when he wrote this book or where john was coming from or matthew you know whatever the case may be that could be something that you could do as well i feel like that would be really cool um to give you that kind of background information so that you can better understand the context of the book that you are reading so yeah um that is something you could do like it said, commentaries, yeah, those are very good to use. Uh, take notes, guys. You know I speak of journals all the time. I have a million and one journals. I have my own journals that you can find on my Amazon storefront, link in the description. But take notes because writing helps you to remember things, especially if you're going to be trying to like memorize Bible verses, it would be really good for you to write them out. So definitely love this tip. And then the last one is to pray. And that's just self-explanatory, guys. Like, how you going to study the Bible the world without praying? That don't make no sense. Make it make sense, okay? Yeah, so, yeah, those were five really, really good tips on how to study the Bible for beginners. And like you see here, it says, Remember, Bible study is a lifelong journey, and there is always more to learn and discover. Keep an open mind and heart as you study and be willing to be transformed by the message of the Bible. Absolutely love that. Absolutely loved that. But yeah, like I said, you can literally type anything into ChatGPT, guys. And if you see down here at the bottom, it says regenerate response. That's what I was telling you about earlier. You can literally click that button and it will give you a whole different answer. See, it's, it's literally writing a whole different answer right now. I know it's giving us seven points. So yeah, that's ChatGPT for you guys. 
so i hope you found this video very 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 useful i know i'm definitely going to be using chat gpt going forward to help me in my bible study um but again guys i will say it for the umpteenth time please ensure that you are cross-referencing and you are doing your own reading your own research because this is technology again we don't know where they're getting their information from we don't know if where they're getting their information from has any biases i mean they might be getting this information from somebody that hates christianity that hates god who knows you know we just gotta be very careful technology can be used for good you just gotta know how to use it and be very mindful when you're using it so thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope that you found it helpful and let me know in the comments, you know, how you are going to be using technology going forward. Or if you have, you know, did you even think of using ChatGPT to help you with your spiritual journey? Let me know in the comments because you guys know I love chatting with you guys. But until next time, guys, remember Jesus loves you. So go out and live like it. Bye, beauties. Ain't nobody stopping my shine. They try to break me, try to take me out, but I got Jesus on my side.